Once upon a time, in a land far away, there was a beautiful girl called Amy. She was looking around town, seeing all the beautiful things she could see, and she said, "Wow, this place is so beautiful! I wish I had beautiful stuff like this in my house. Hmm, I should probably go back home now." So Amy ran home. She ran and she ran and she ran away from the great tower in the middle of the town. When she got home, everything she saw not not too much a glim. Everything was dry and it was lonely and plain. She went to her mom and said, "Ah,、oh, mom, I wish we had beautiful things. That would make our house so much better." Amy's mom said. Darling, we have nothing. We just have to stay here, lonely and quiet. Amy was so sad and upset. She ran to her room, and said, "Ah,、oh, I really wish I could like get a job so we can get some more nice stuff in in the house. That would make it so much better." <laughs> I see everyone with cake, ice cream. I really wish I could have cake or something. That would be so nice. And just then, there was a bickety buckety boo. Her room flashed, and then there was an angel. Amy gasped and said, "Oh my gosh! Is 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 there an angel in my room? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!" Hello, Mr. Angel. What are you doing in my room? And the angel said, "I shall grant you a great superpower. Anything you touch will turn into cake, so you can have lots of cake to eat." Bye. Amy was stunned and amazed, but yet she did not believe the angel. So she just went to bed, thinking that it was all a trick. The next morning, Amy woke up that morning and she yawned and said. <sighs> I guess it's another boring day. I may as well go and search for a job while I have nothing to do other than read fairy tales. <sighs> so Amy went over to her bathroom to take a shower, and when she touched the shower, it turned into cake. Amy gasped amazedly, and she said, <gasps> "Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What happened?" My shower, my sh- shower, it 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 turned into c- c- cake. The fairy, it wasn't lying. Sure, he wasn't lying. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I just turned my shower into cake. What should I do now? Ah,、oh, I guess I'm pretty hungry. I should go and eat and just.、Oh, I need the toilet though. Let me quickly use the toilet. Amy was just about to get onto the toilet, and when she touched the toilet, it quickly turned into cake, a donut and cake. Oh, I, 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 I have powers. What shall I do? Oh no, I need this fairy back. I can't live my life without touching anything. What shall I do? What shall I do? I mean, at least I have cake to eat. Maybe I could sell it. That could be a great idea, but I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna go and eat something. So Amy ran upstairs to the kitchen. She went to the kitchen. She opened the fridge, and boom! It turned into cake as well. Ah! My fridge! It turned into cake. <gasps> oh, no! I can't tell Mom. I need to turn it back. Whatever shall I do? Oh no, my life can't be ruined like this. It can't. It cannot. Fairy. Oh no, I need to find a way to get this fairy back. Hmm. What shall I do? What shall I do? So as Amy thought and thought, she couldn't think of anything. So as Amy was just about to touch the microwave, boom! The stove, the microwave turned into a cake. No. <laughs> I hate this. I can't believe it. I wish I never wished for these powers. As Amy was just about to sit on the couch, again there was a big flash and it turned into cake as well. <gasps> as Amy thought all hope was lost, she thought of something. Make
making her dream come true, being a cake seller. Oh, my life is now officially ruined. What else is there for me to do? Wait, I can I can make my dream come true. I can sell cake and make a living. Yes, mom would love this. Okay, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to touch some stuff and make cake. She touched the tree. As she touched the tree, it turned into a giant cake. And then, that was the first thing she sold. She started putting up signs. Come and get a cake tree. Come and get a cake tree. No one was coming. She thought it was so sad until someone came and bought her cake tree. That was the first thing she sold. She sold many other things as well. Amy touched lots of things and more and more people came in to, to eat and buy the stuff. So now Amy was rich with her mom. She was thinking of what to buy first with her money. And then one night as she was going to bed, she said, Oh, I know how to make cake. My life is nearly perfect. Well, all I want is for my powers to go away so I can touch stuff again. I hate living my life like this. I wish I was just a cake seller and without powers. And then boom, the fairy again came in. Amy jumped up from her bed and gasped. Oh my God, what are you doing back here? Wait, no, please, please, Amy, I beg you, please take away my powers. Okay, Amy. I'll take away your powers, but next time be careful what you wish for. And then there was a big boom and the angel was gone. Amy gasped. What? Where? Where? Where did the angel go? <gasps> Let's check if my powers are gone. So she touched the shower and boom, it turned back into a shower. Amy jumped up joy and happiness. Oh my god, yay, my powers are gone. Then she touched the toilet. It turned into a toilet as well. She went over and touched the sofa and it turned back into a sofa and she touched everything else that she touched when it was cake. And now she lives her happy life making cakes, cupcakes, pancakes, cakes, cotton candy even. And she lived happily ever after and rich with her mum. The end. Okay, so I hope you guys have loved watching this amazing video. I really hope it was entertaining for you guys and it was just like a mini role play. So I hope you guys have loved watching. I have loved making this video and I hope you guys have had an amazing day. I've had a good in myself. So I love you guys. Peace.